Hi, my name is Ali. I'm on the support team here at Litmus and I'm walking you through Builder Essentials. To get started, click the Create New button. You can either create from HTML, which is a blank HTML file, or you can create from a template. I'm going to walk you through an email that we already have going today. Once you've navigated to the Builder tab, there's two main versions of Builder. We have our visual editor and then our code editor. The visual editor is great for swapping out images or making change to copy without actually having to go into the code. The code editor is going to have the code on the left and a visual preview pane on the right. The preview pane has a couple different viewing options. You can toggle images on or off, which is going to show how your email looks with images blocked by default. There's grid lines, which is going to outline the different elements in the browser view. When you click on these, it'll highlight them in the code and take you to that place in the code, making it really easy to make changes. Mobile and desktop view will give you a visual representation of how your email looks with different screen sizes. Dark mode will apply any CSS that you have to the browser pane, showing you a rendering of the dark mode version of your email. If you don't have any CSS properties defined in your code, we'll call that out here. The visual impairment filters will show how your email looks with different visual impairment filter colors applied. That way you can make sure that all of your colors are accessible and make sense for all of your users. The pop out feature will pop the browser pane out so you can either work with a full screen code editor in one side of your screen and the browser on another or if you like to use two screens while working you can make it so that there is the code editor on one side and the browser pane on another. To run previews, click the email previews tab. Any changes made in the code editor will be automatically applied to your previews. So if you make any changes here and click save, we'll rerun that set of previews. For that reason, we encourage you to make any changes in browser view and then run the previews once you're ready to see how your email looks. You can choose different email clients here, either manually by selecting or from the list. The QA checks is going to go over your first impressions, so your preview text. We also look at automated accessibility checks, links, tracking to make sure that you have any additional marketing links in your email, and loading speed. Once you've built your email, looked at the previews, and ran it through the QA checks, you're ready to share with other teammates. You can either sync to ESP, which is our ESP sync that we have with a few different ESPs. If you have an ESP that isn't listed here, or maybe your plan doesn't include some of these integrations, that's okay. You can still export your HTML here. You can either copy the HTML, which will pull up this module, or you can download the HTML file. If you'd like to create a public link, you can get shareable link here. You can select different email clients if you'd like to share previews or if you want to just share the HTML and previews, you can do that here as well. From this module, you can share your email with anybody on your account. If your team uses Litmus Proof, clicking Update Proof and Preview will automatically push your designs to the Proof tab and you can share with the rest of your team from there. So now that you're an expert in Litmus Builder, it's time to get building. And if you have any questions, please reach out to our support team at hellolitmus.com and be sure to check out our other Getting Started videos. Thank you.